Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you the first things that I recommend doing after setting up your TCL 60 SE Next Paper. Once you've got your phone set up and working, there are a few things that will enhance your experience as well as make your phone more secure and make it run smoother, better and more convenient. Uh, let's go to the settings first um, with the first step which is assuring that we have Wi-Fi connecting um, connected is gonna be quite important here so if you go to Wi-Fi make sure something is connected if not make sure Wi-Fi is on select a network you want to connect to and possibly enter its password now let's scroll uh, no I think we can click on my device yes now click on TCL TCL UI at the top you can see I have the update button if you click on it it'll start checking for updates it says that my system is up to date but if yours is not feel free to download and install the update which will make your phone run more smoothly securely and have the newest features let's go back now let's sign in to our google account there's a high chance you already have done it but if you haven't simply go to accounts uh, somewhere here now if under accounts for owner there is no google account listed click on add account then click on google and now enter your um, phone number or email associated with the google account I know it has crashed right now and it's um, because uh, probably the Google services themselves are being updated right now because I've just set the phone up so that may be the reason. Let's try again. So it may be a bit harsh right now so I'm just gonna get back to when it works. Okay, now it's all working. I've just entered the email now and my password as well. And select who will be using this device. Then click on next. And now agree to Google Terms of Service. Without that, you can add uh, the Google account. Now it also turn, uh, tell, uh, asks you about Google contacts if do you want to sync them. If you don't know then just click on turn on backup that will make you not lose your data in case something happens to your device. And here the same case with just your backup so you can leave that enabled um, so you don't lose your data right. Now if I go back um, we should go to the Google Play Store to set it up to update all the apps and stuff like that so open google play then click on get started now i'm gonna click on skip and i'm gonna use password not biometrics to verify my purchases because i don't have my biometrics set up just yet but shortly i'll show you how to do it uh, so let's use the password and now i'm gonna click on no thanks then click on your profile icon in top right corner and select my apps and games then updates available and click on update all that will ensure that your apps run smoothly securely have the newest features but also some apps just won't work without an update so it's worth doing that now let's move on to another thing so as you see on the lock if i lock my screen it unlocks straight away and i don't want that i don't want anyone besides me using my phone so let's set it in the settings go here then go to um, security and privacy then go to device unlock and if screen lock is set to swipe or none then set it to pattern pin or password but before you do that please make sure that that's something that you will remember because in case you forget your pin pattern or password there will be no way to restore your phone than to erase everything that's on it 
and you probably don't want that so I'm gonna set a pattern and I'm gonna set it to something simple but if you know that you'll remember something more difficult if you're sure about that feel free to do it, uh, to do it because it'll be harder enough to guess uh, for others now uh, on lock screen you have a question what to do with the notifications on the lock screen and I like to set it to show sensitive content only when unlocked which means that when my phone is locked I will see the name of the app the notif notifications are from but I won't see the content of those notifications so that's quite great now let's click on done and you'll find face and fingerprint unlock let's click on here then enter your pattern and first I'm gonna set up the fingerprint because it's secure and very convenient you'll see that in a moment let's just click on add a fingerprint now locate the sensor which is on the power button right here click on got it now use the desired finger uh, if you're right-handed most probably your thumb and if you're left-handed there's a chance that it may be your left index finger mm. I don't know why the screen got dark yeah let's just go on tap and lift your finger on the sensor and remember to move your finger between each scan so it scans the whole area of your fingerprint now click on done you can see it's added uh, let's go back and uh, there is face unlock but I'm not gonna set it up for a very simple reason on this phone the face unlocking only bases on the camera which means that I don't really find it secure and it can be unlocked with a photo of you or by someone who looks similar to you mm, so I don't really think it's worth it now I'm gonna show you how to unlock your phone in these two methods. So the first one is gonna be just the screen lock. Slide up on the lock screen, enter your screen lock, it's done. For the fingerprint, you can just tap on the fingerprint sensor and the phone is unlocked. It's dark again, let's try. Let's try doing that again. Just tap on the sensor, you don't even have to click on it. And um, now, let's move on to another thing i'm gonna set up my wallpaper because i think that that's something that lots of people do and of course you can use something that will be provided by uh, tcl there will be some photos in the settings but i think the best wallpaper will be your custom one like a picture you've transferred from your previous device or a picture taken now or downloaded from the internet and now i'm gonna take a picture because i don't have any pictures on this device now let's simply go to the settings in the settings you'll find um, I believe it will be in the home screen and lock screen then wallpaper and style yes change wallpaper and as I said you can select some from TCL or from my photos go to the folder and select the photo now you can zoom in or out the photo I'm not really sure how to move it though okay if I use two fingers I can do it I think that's fair enough mm, you can also blur the home screen wallpaper you can touch to preview the lock screen and the home screen and let's click on apply now select whether you want to apply it to home screen lock screen or both and now it's done uh, let's go to another thing now first let's check if we have Google wallet up yes I have it right here uh, and uh, before you start setting it up I'm gonna explain that this is gonna be for your uh, mobile payments which means that you can add a card to your phone um, and later on use it in stores and anywhere else uh, like use your phone to pay uh, by tapping it to the reader instead of reaching out to your wallet for your card 
Now simply click on add payment card here. And you don't need to worry about security too much because it's first of all bank authorized. Then also it is provided by Google and uh, it requires your phone to be unlocked in order to be able to use it. Um, now I'm gonna add a card um, here. So I'll just enter the details and show you. I've just entered the details and clicked on save and continue and we'll see if it'll work. Uh, now I'm gonna accept it. Now you can uh, either uh, text, um, send a text code or sign into a bank app and that's what I'm gonna do just continue then click on install no actually I don't want to do that I'm not gonna proceed I think because I don't have the option that I wanted to use but um, yeah never mind but if you've seen the process, basically you'll just need to verify further. Uh, now, after that, to pay with your phone, you'll need to open the Google Wallet app, which you can either find somewhere on your phone, or I think that there also should be an option to slide down from the top of the screen twice to view all of these options here, and find the wallet somewhere here. Or if you can't find it, you should be able to add it. That's not always the case. But it is in this one, so I can just drag the wallet somewhere where I want to put it. Let's put it next to the Bluetooth. And now if I open, want to open the wallet, I can simply click on that and it will open the wallet with my card. And it's basically it. I hope uh, that uh, it was helpful. Now let's move on to the uh, last things. Uh, you can see some apps here and some of them aren't really important like pod apps I don't even know like they are weird if you want to disable them click on the gear icon and disable hot apps now we don't have it that's great games uh, I don't want that as well so let's press and hold app info and uninstall of course if you want any of those feel free to keep them but most of these unimportant apps here are uh, have lots of different like ads like for example these um, these games here they have lots of ads and I, I wouldn't recommend playing those <coughs> I bet you can get a better app actually now, I don't know why it takes so much time on this phone to uninstall a game, but, um, but okay. Let's click on uninstall. And um, yeah, there are a few other apps that can be uninstalled, including Booking.com, Facebook, LinkedIn, Moby Office, Pedometer, um, start and tick tock i believe that those can be but i'm not really sure just press and hold and as you've seen you can uninstall it that way now let's slide down from the top of our screens and find finish setting up your device and this is gonna be the last step here just click on start Now I'm gonna wait until it finds uh, what it has to find. Now if it says about connecting to mobile network, feel free to either insert the physical SIM or download a SIM or skip it. You can do it later or don't do it. Whatever you like. Now this is pretty important here. If you want to copy your data, then do it now because later 
that native option will become unavailable and you can use third party apps but they aren't as reliable as the native method and as I said it's only available once you're asked about it and it's not available in the settings so here it's either the last or uh, almost the last time you're asked about that uh, and later on it will be unavailable I'm gonna click on done copy but if you want to copy just click on next and all the instructions should be pretty mm, intuitive and then uh, I already have my fingerprint set so I'm gonna skip it and as I said I don't want my face set up then click on next here uh, you can enable or disable backup, biometrics, stuff like that. Click on, uh, click on accept. Now let's continue the setup because we've clicked on a notification about continuing a setup. So I don't want a second not notification about, about that. Now let's just agree or skip the Google Assistant with Hey Google, which lets you access Google Assistant by saying Hey Google out loud without pressing on any buttons. Um, now we can also activate voice match if you wish and I'm gonna skip accessing assistant without unlocking my device then I'm gonna click on no thanks but you can adjust a few things that are shown on the screen now your phone is set up uh, and all the things that are worth doing after the setup are done and I hope that this video was helpful though don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next one